Right, drawing an isometric cylinder. The way I'm going to start out is I'm going to draw a hexagon. Um, I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way across the center over there and all the way across the center over there. And that way I end up with two square isometric faces, one there and one over there. And the next thing that I need to do is to find the center of the lines over here, those four centers. The way I'm going to do that accurately is I'm going to draw a line that goes from that point over there across to that point over there. That point where it intersects this line over here is going to give me the center of this line. So from there to there, that is a center over there. I can then take a pair of dividers and I can measure that distance. And knowing that that line is the same length as that line, I can arc down and mark off the center over there. That will be a center over there. I can do the same thing over here, mark off the center over here, and do the same thing over here. That will give me the center over there. Right. Okay, once I've got those centers, I then take my ruler and I draw lines going from the obtuse angle over here up to that center. I draw a line going from this obtuse angle over here, going across to that center. I draw a line going from this obtuse angle again, going to that center. And, well, we've already got this one, but if you haven't got it nice and dark, just draw that in. All right, all of these lines, they are construction lines. I shouldn't really be able to see them from an arm's length away. I then take my pair of compasses and I extend them to this distance over here between the obtuse angle and that center. Should be the same as that and I draw a nice dark arc going around over here. There we go. Turn your pair of compasses around. Place the point in over there. Should be exactly the same radius and I draw a nice dark arc going in over there. Right, once I've got that in place, I take my small pair of compasses, I set them to this radius over here, and check that it fits, and draw a nice dark arc going over there. Right, once that's in place, turn it around, take it from that point to that point, Let's get it in the right position and draw a nice dark arc going around over there. Okay, I've got one, one isometric circle over here. What I need is another isometric circle placed in this, on this face over here. Um, what we need to do is to draw very lightly over here this isometric circle. Again, I need the centers. The centers of these lines will be exactly the same as the centers of these lines. So again, we're just going to mark off the centers. A pencil, I'm just going to mark it off. You don't need to use the pencil. I'm just making it a bit clearer for you guys by drawing these little V's at the centers. And the last one over here. There we go. Okay, once I've got that, again, take the lines from these obtuse angles to the centers of the lines on the opposite sides. There we go. There we go. And finally this one. Right, once I've got that, take my pair of compasses, large pair of compasses, Extend them to that distance over there. Arc between that point and that point. Right, this is in a construction line. You'll see that I'm drawing much lighter than I did with this circle over here. This line over here, I can draw dark straight away. I know that this one is going to be dark and you'll see why I'm so confident about that. Right, there it is, nice and dark. 
take my small pair of compasses, extend them to this length. I can draw this one in, in a construction line. And you'll see why I'm saying I want it in a construction line. And this one as a construction line as well. Right, once I've done that, I'm going to draw a tangent line going between there and there. And a tangent line going between there and there. Tangent is a line that just, just touches the circle. All right. Um, after that, I can come back over here and I can draw in this part of the circle nice and dark because I know that I can see that and come down here and draw in that part of the circle dark. Right, hopefully you can see I've got a cylinder and this part of the line down here should be light enough that it doesn't really interfere with the impression of an, an isometric cylinder. Right, once you've done that, you can probably put some color into this thing and uh, make it look like a Coke can or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. All right, there it is, it's a bit of color. <laughs> 